Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This one is funny. Vice President, Vice President Kamala Harris closes campaign with $20 million in debt. So this was the woman that we were supposed to close our eyes, hold our nose, vote for her because she was black. <clears throat> leave your husband for, leave your wife for, fall in line, do what you're supposed to do. And she can't even manage one billion with a B, capital B, one billion dollars that she raised within 90 days of being nominated as a Democrat nominee for the president of the United States. And when it's all said and done, she ends up being $20 million in debt. How does that happen? You raise more money than your competitor. And yet when it's all said and done, you lose the election and you end up $20 million in debt. And she wanted to be the president of the United States in charge of our budget. <clears throat> we dodged that bullet, didn't we? So <clears throat> Kamala Harris campaign raised an eye-popping billion dollars over the summer and into the fall. But it wasn't enough to beat Trump. The more outstanding part, astounding part of this is that despite having such a huge war chest, the Harris campaign is ending with $20 million in debt. And how do you think they're gonna cover that up? <laughs> they're reportedly soliciting donations from supporters and selling this email list to cover its $20 million in debt bill that they have to pay. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> and nobody is looking at this and saying, okay, we gave you a billion dollars. You ran the campaign. You put on all these concerts with Meg Thee Stallion and all these other rappers. Uh, you had uh, Oprah Winfrey. You had Usher. You had all of these celebrities coming out supporting you and, and 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 stumping for you and yet at the end of the day you lose the election and then you're 20 million dollars in debt this got to be the worst campaign ran whoever ran the books for this campaign <laughs> they need to be audited because something just ain't right we give you a billion dollars and you still end up 20 million in the hole that means you just 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 spending money like it was candy. Here you go, here you go. Hundred thousand here, hundred thousand here, hundred thousand here. It, it's just unbelievable. I just don't understand it. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy how you have that much money. And when she went on the uh, Call Her Daddy podcast, they blew a hundred thousand dollars on the studio itself to make it look like the studio out in California. A hundred thousand dollars for that for that backdrop. Because I don't think they, they they weren't in California, but they made the studio look like they were in California. Like the call her daddy call her daddy studio. They spent a hundred thousand dollars on that studio to make her look like she was amongst the people. A hundred thousand dollars. Woo I'm glad we dodged this bullet. I am so glad we dodged this bullet. This is just crazy. <laughs> but let me know what you think down in the comment. $1 billion and you end 20 million in a hole. That's the type of politician that we want in our country, right? Oh, wrong. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you could like this video, hit that like button. Please share this video. If this is your first time to the Retired Vet Show, please subscribe to the channel if you hung it in this long. <clears throat> hit that notification button so you know when I post another video. And once again, God bless you all. Stay safe.